Hi everyone, I'm Zoe Weiner, Well and Good Senior Beauty Editor, and this is Zoe Tries It All. Today, we're talking about sunscreen. As a beauty editor, this is a topic that I am very passionate about. Not only does 90% of skin aging come from unprotected UV exposure, but being exposed to UV rays can also cause skin cancer. And yet, 75% of people don't wear sunscreen every day. It's important to wear sunscreen every day, rain or shine, and I'm gonna show you how I incorporate it into my routine daily in very easy ways. There are three ways that I like to integrate sunscreen into my routine. First of all, with a layer of moisturizer infused with SPF underneath my makeup then by using makeup products that actually have SPF in them, and an SPF setting spray or mist that I use during the day when I feel like I need to reapply. Listen, I get it. None of us want to slather a goopy white sunscreen all over our faces every day. That's probably a lot of the reason why people don't wear sunscreen. Thankfully, there's been some really great innovation in the category, and now you can find a lot of SPF products that really feel like skincare. They're not goopy or greasy. They work for all different skin tones and won't leave a white cast behind, and they could really help you cover your bases for the day. Derms recommend wearing SPF 30 every single day, and all of these products we're about to talk about have at least that. Speaking of SPF innovation, all of my favorite sunscreen moisturizers are part of this new category that I like to call illuminating SPF, which means they're not tinted, they're not white, but they're kind of pearlescent and leave behind a nice dewy radiant glow. There's a ton of them out there these days, but there are three that I absolutely love and use pretty regularly. First up is Kula's Do Good Illuminating Serum, which has SPF 30 and blue light protection. It's not tinted at all, it's just nice and pearly. And when you rub it in, it melts seamlessly into skin and just leaves behind a really beautiful glow. But it's almost like a highlighter that you can put all over your face and then apply makeup on top of it. You don't need a primer, it just really gives you a nice radiance before you apply your foundation, your concealer, whatever, to make things like radiant. Next up, Supergoop Glow Screen. This is another illuminating option. They also make this in body format, which is great if you want a little body glitter and to still stay protected. It's got SPF 40 and has these really cool iridescent mica in it. So this one is a little bit more tinted, but when you rub it in, again, it just blends beautifully into skin and really doesn't leave behind a white cast. And we've tested this on all skin tones and it really just looks beautiful and glowy and luminescent. Finally, we have this brand new product from K-Skin, a brand that was created by model Winnie Harlow because she couldn't find a sunscreen that matched her skin without leaving a white cast. It is beautifully luminescent, has a little bit of a tint. This one has a little bit more sun protection. It's SPF 45, and it really just leaves behind a really beautiful luminescence, but rubs really seamlessly into skin. It really is so pretty. Another way I like to incorporate SPF into my routine is with SPF makeup. Cause I kind of figure if I'm gonna be wearing makeup anyway, why not also let it do a little sun protecting for my skin. And these days it's so easy to find foundations, concealers, lip balms, even eyeshadows that have sun protection in them. So if you're gonna be investing in one of these categories, you may as well look for something that has SPF too. That said, most of the time makeup probably isn't going to give you all of the sun protection you need on its own. So it's important to use that base layer first and then apply your makeup makeup on top of it as sort of a supplemental little something extra. There are two different types of sunscreen. Chemical sunscreen use chemical filters to literally filter the UV rays and absorb them so that they don't get into your skin and cause damage. And mineral sunscreen uses ingredients like zinc oxide and titanium dioxide to physically block the sun from ever getting into your skin to begin with. Today, I'm gonna to be testing out both chemical and mineral sunscreens because in my opinion, you can find great formulas in each category. So we're gonna show off a little bit of a mix. So as far as the order to apply your products goes, if you're using a chemical sunscreen, you want that to be directly on top of your skin so that it can do its work to absorb the UV rays. So apply chemical sunscreen first, then moisturizer, then your makeup with SPF. If you're using a mineral sunscreen, you wanna go moisturizer first, then mineral sunscreen, then SPF makeup. And if you're using an SPF moisturizer, like the ones we've tested out in this video, you can apply that and then put your SPF makeup right on top of it. The first way I like to add SPF makeup into my routine is with concealer. Considering sun damage can make dark spots and acne scarring, which I have, worse, it's really important to protect these areas in particular with extra sun protection. This product from Color Science is really cool. It is a concealer palette, so it has a whole bunch of different colors that you can use to color correct, cover up dark circles, blemishes, whatever you really wanna conceal on your face, and it has SPF 20. So you're getting all of these little shades that you can apply wherever you want them for that bit of extra protection. 
On the drugstore front, there are these concealers from Physicians Formula. They have SPF 30, there's pollution protection and blue light protection, so really everything you need. I like to get two colors, a lighter shade to cover up my dark circles and a deeper shade that's a bit closer to my skin tone to conceal any blemishes. So it has this nice little doe foot applicator and you just dab it on and blend. Next up within the makeup category is eyeshadow. And actually the only brand that makes SPF eyeshadow right now is Super Goop, which is wild because the skin around your eyes is actually the most delicate on your whole face, which means that it's really susceptible to sun damage. So it's super important to protect that area. Super Goop's products have SPF 30 and they blend mineral filters like zinc oxide with chemical filters to really give you a one-two punch of protection. They come in four different shades, all of which are a little bit shimmery, but not so shimmery that you would feel weird wearing them to the beach. And they're great for everyday use. Use. If you're gonna be wearing eyeshadow anyway, you may as well put these on even as a base coat to start things off. I'm gonna be putting on a shade called First Light, which is a really pretty kind of golden taupe with just the right amount of shimmer. And I think will look quite nice with my look today. It's got a nice creamy texture that's not goopy or sticky. So it goes on really nice and easily. It is really pretty. Another great thing about these shades is that they can all double as really pretty highlighter. So sometimes I like to just you just put them on the high points of your face. They'll reflect light and also give you UV defense. Lip protection is an SPF category all in its own, but instead of having to swipe one of those chalky white sticks on your mouth, there are plenty of products that feel like SPF makeup and can give you a little bit of a lip tint while also protecting your skin from UV rays. Your lips follow the same rules as the rest of your face and that derms want you to wear at least an SPF 30 on them every single day. I personally like to choose products that will hydrate and condition my lips while also offering UV protection. And there are plenty of options out there, whether you want tinted, untinted, depending on the color you like, they can really stand in for your lipstick if you find something that you love a lot. I really love these balms from Color Science. They have SPF 50 in them and come in so many different shades. You can get bronze, peach, pink, orange, really whatever you want. And they feel great when you put them on your lips. See, it looks like a regular lipstick but really it's SPF 50. Then from the drugstore, you can get these Revlon Kiss Balms, which have SPF 25 in them. And I like these because they're a bit glossier. So sometimes I will layer this nice sheer shade, which smells like coconut, by the way. One of those little tidbits of information that you've probably seen floating around the internet is the fact that your hands start to show signs of aging before anywhere else on your body. And that's technically true, but the reason is because most of us forget to put sunscreen on our hands. That means they're exposed to the sun more frequently and they're going to show those signs of UV damage much more quickly. So it's really important to protect both your hands and your decolletage if it's going to be exposed because that's another spot where signs of aging can show up and you won't even realize it. The good news is that you can use any old facial sunscreen on these areas and it will protect you. But there are a few things that I like to look for when applying sunscreen to these areas. The first is to look for something that's really hydrating. If you're anything like me and you wash your hands a zillion times a day, the skin on your hands is probably really dry. So it's great to find a sun protectant product that's also going to add a little bit of moisture. And the second thing is you want something that's gonna melt in really easily because nobody wants to walk around dripping sunscreen off their hands all day. First up is this sunscreen from Kinfield. It has SPF 35 and sea kelp moisturizer in it. So you know you're really getting that good nourishment along with your SPF. This one goes on white, but it what doesn't stay white. So once you start to rub it into your skin, it will eventually melt in without leaving behind a cast. Next, there's this La Roche-Posay Anthelios, which is not only fun to say, but is constantly being recommended by dermatologists as one of their drugstore diamonds. It has SPF 60 in it, which is double what they recommend you use every day. So it's great for applying to those really sensitive sun damage prone areas like the backs of your hands. It goes on white, but the more you rub in, it goes on clear and it just feels really moist. I hate that word, but moist and not greasy and just nice on their skin. Finally, this Daily Mineral Defense from Solara Sun Care. It has SPF 30 as well as pollution protection and blue light protection. And it's really great for applying anywhere to your face, to the backs of your hands, to your body if you wanna go through the bottle pretty quickly. But I like to put it on my decolletage because it just has a really nice 
moisturizing, dewy looking finish. I've been told that you wanna use a shot glass amount of sunscreen to cover your whole body. So when you're talking about your face, your hands, your decolletage, you should be using about a third of that. So that means a few squirts on the decolletage and don't forget your neck and the backs of your ears and your ears. All of those kind of easy to miss places. Now's your chance to really make sure they're covered. You may know that you're supposed to reapply sunscreen every two hours to ensure you're properly protected throughout the day, but that's not always so easy. I know if I've put on a full face of makeup in the morning, the thought of then applying sunscreen on top of that and ruining it makes me very sad. And also it worries me a little bit to pile product on top of product on top of product on top of product for fear that it's gonna make my skin feel oily or a little bit claustrophobic. So that is where SPF setting sprays and mists come in. I have fallen completely in love with this brand new product from a brand called Habit. It is a cucumber misting spray and I love to just spritz it on my face. It has cooling elements. It smells really nice and has SPF 38 but it goes on completely clear because it's a mist. So I kind of just like to spritz it on myself all day long. Sometimes not even for the sake of giving myself sun protection, just because it feels good. When I tell you it smells like a spa in here, I am not exaggerating. So now it's time for a confession. I wasn't always great about wearing sunscreen every day. And it wasn't until I found products that made putting on SPF every morning so, so easy that I actually remembered to use it. So these are three ways that I like to wear sunscreen. And again, that's with an SPF infused moisturizer. I personally like formulas that are luminizing, but you can absolutely find formulas that aren't. It's really personal preference with SPF makeup and using those products to ensure you're getting proper protection on your eyes and lips and by using SPF on your hands and your decolletage, which are the areas that are most prone to sun damage. Finally, if you need to reapply during the day, a setting spray it makes it so, so, so easy. And every product we tried today works for all skin tones. So if you wanna try them out for yourself, you can shop them in the description below. If there's one thing I wanna leave you with, it's that the best sunscreen is the one you're gonna wear every day. So find one that you like and that works for you and then commit to wearing it 365 days a year, rain or shine. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment below with which of these products you'll be adding into your daily routine or if you have a sunscreen that you love and we didn't try, I'd love to know what it is. Don't forget to subscribe to Well and Good so you never miss an episode and I'll see you next time.